In this week's Driving into the Future, we are looking into some important information about repairing electric vehicles. Yeah, our Nidia Han has what you need to know if your EV is involved in an accident. We hope you're all safe and don't ever end up needing this information, but if your EV is in a crash, where your car gets hit can determine whether it's worth getting it repaired or not. It, it just feels like everything's just going hyperspeed, almost like a Star Wars uh, going in the light speed kind of. Even for an automotive expert, driving an EV can be a mind-blowing experience. That's why I call it the spaceship. But EVs can still end up in a crash, catch fire, and combust. It's because of all the batteries that we have inside of the new EVs. Uh, the lithium just, it, it just, once it catches fire, it's really hard to put out. The good news is the structural material of today's vehicles are advanced. So if you are in the driver's seat or in any part of the cabin, if you're hit T-bone, front end, rear end, it's going to take that initial impact and spread it out of the whole thing. All of those front pieces and side pieces, they're all designed to give way and we can repair them. But whether your car is worth repairing depends on where and how badly it was damaged on the inside. Some of the vehicles have uh, motors on each wheel, so those do tend to get very pricey uh, during the repair if they all go bad. And the most important component to consider is the battery. If the battery was in the back of this and it got rear-ended, and it damaged the battery and a bunch of structural components in the back, even if it wasn't that hard of a hit, but it damaged the battery. Depending on how much the battery cost, that could raise the cost of the repair to the point where it could total the vehicle. So when buying a used EV, make sure to run a collision report and have an independent mechanic check the battery closely. And you can see all of our episodes of Driving into the Future on 6abc.com. I'm Nidia Han, Channel 6 Action News.